that they believe to be connected to massacre suspect Dylan Roof. The chilling pictures, the words of hate, the city gathering to heal, and this morning, the church reopening as relatives mourn. It's unexplainable, you know, we lose a parent. We're live with team coverage from Charleston. Closing in, police hunting two killers who escaped from prison, chasing down fresh possible sightings. Have a confirmed track of two individuals. The new checkpoint, 400 miles from the prison. Are the convicts sticking to train tracks? And the ABC News exclusive. And were you the escapee's guard? A second prison worker question. Fire and storms. Skyscrapers struck, the floods and power outages, while out west, hundreds of homes threatened by wildfires. Thousands of firefighters battling flames. Can they get it contained? And hanging way more than 10, dozens of surfers hit the water on a giant board to try to break a record for most people ever to catch a wave. Did they pull it off or did they wipe out? Live from ABC News in New York, Sunday, June 21st, 2015. This is Good Morning America. Hey, good morning and happy Father's Day. We'll celebrate the day a little bit later in the show, but first, we're going to get right to the pictures out of Charleston, South Carolina. They are expecting a full house this morning at the historic annual AME as the church returns to its original purpose this morning, reopening for services four days after that massacre. Hey. Look at the page of the local paper, paper there, the Post and Courier, Nine Roses, in remembrance of the nine victims murdered at a Bible study. This, as a website has surfaced, that appears to have been the creation of the 21-year-old suspect, Dylan Roof. Federal investigators now trying to authenticate, but the site contains a trove of pictures.